find any nice lair buys? Oh, ha, ha. We've actually been house hunting. Eh? For me and Noah. I've been offering moral support. Yeah, him chauffeuring me around is the least he can do after all the aggro he's caused. Well, I'm an innocent bystander in all of this. Yeah, anyway, more important things. It's all been going off here. Yeah, like what? Well, I've had half the local CID round. Well, two of them. Oh, don't tell me. Looking for Kane, hopefully? No, Katie's fella. What, the copper? Yeah, he's gone AWOL and taken her with him. He's done a runner. Andy and Jenny have gone looking for him now. Hey, up. Shame someone can't kidnap me, sure your knickers here. Worth it, was it? Destroying an entire family for one quick knee tremble with my fella. One? <laughs> Didn't he tell you? Seems your fella can't get enough of me. Oh, well, could me. Look, back off, all right? Were well, you defending her honour? I'm warning you. I never knew you were so into low rent. Gob on her. You OK? Yes, fine. Charity, get inside. Andy, it's me. Will you call me as soon as you get this, please? Set me mind at rest. No news. What about Jenny? Same. I don't think anything's happening, do you? With Andy, probably. No, I was thinking more about Katie. Have you tried the answer machine? At home, I mean. Ah, good thinking. Uh, Deb, Debbie, um, have you heard anything from Andy? Why should I have? Oh, no, no, don't worry. So you're back, then? Not there was much to come back for. Oh, thanks very much. Not you. So have you seen him, your loving father? I think he's up at Lisa's. Missing him already. So what happens chucking him out on the street then? Ah, oh, well, change of strategy. And did you find somewhere? Overall, the penthouse is a bit too pokey. Dust houses, more like it from what I can afford. I'm surprised you don't get Jay to cough up. We did buy you a car. It's a company car. There is a line. Huh. Like you've ever seen it. I am not the guilty party here. No, you're both as bad as each other. He's the one putting it about with the local pole cat. Practically moved in from what she says. And you and Jay are completely innocent in all of this, obviously. Yes, as it happens. So why made Dad think there was something going on then? Not my fault if your dad gets possessive. You knew exactly what you were doing. Except I was never unfaithful. <clears throat> OK, maybe once, a long, long time ago, but not now. And like the idiot I am, I actually thought this time things could be different. Really? I gave up thinking that a long time ago. Well, bully for you, Debs. <sighs> Mum, if you feel like this, why don't you just tell him? What, get down on my hands and knees and beg? <laughs> Dream on. You see, this is what I mean. Why can't you just be honest with each other for once? It's too late. Why? Because he is so busy thinking everybody's out to screw him that he screws them over first. Well, not anymore. Come on. Well, you're not going, are you? Uh, what's it to you? Well, I was going to buy you both another drink. Huh. Guilty conscience. Right. So, giving your mum a job and then ferrying around all afternoon, that's a crime now, is it? Well, that just depends what you're getting in return, doesn't it? <sighs> Cheap round? No, oh, what do you expect? Oh, well, fine. What can I do to make amends? A roof over my head would be nice. Yeah, and I've already told you I'll help you out. It's not good enough. I want to rub Kane's nose in it properly this time. And how much is that going to cost me? Not going to cost you a penny. Because... It's free. <laughs> of course it is, yeah. And where do we find this elusive property? You're living in it. My house. As in the place where I live. That's the one. You see, because of you, I now no longer have a house or a boyfriend. So, as of now, I'm moving into yours. Right, stay calm. What's going on? Well, I'm not setting up a car boot sale. Can we have a decent room this time? Oi, that's a cheeky. I don't think our last place lived up to its standards. Can't think where you get that from. Uh, yeah, it's just temporary. Ish. This is a joke, right? No. I'm afraid it's not. So why don't you jog on, get the champagne on ice, cos it's not a housewarming without it, is it? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Apart from what I'm going to do to you, have you even thought how Kane's going to take this? Well, now's your chance to find out. Kane! No, 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 no. no. You can go inside now. Why? Just wrong? get inside. Look at this. Three strapping young guys, you can help me move in. 
Not in front of the little one, eh? How do we know you're taking on here? As it happens, Jay's really fond of kids. I meant me. Are you moving in as well? Do you think you're funny there? Again! Yeah, well, I could hardly leave him on the street, could I? Is there something the matter here? Because I'm sensing that you're a bit put out. I think you know me by now. None too good with grudges. Is that right? I tend to bear him to the grave. Now, come on, son. Hey, we're not worth dirty in your hands over. Sleep tight. Oh, we will. No, you're stealing her from right under his nose. Oh, his pride's hurt. He'll get over it. Jay. Why is there no mess in your house? There's loads in ours. Well. That's because Uncle Nickel here goes a bit funny in the head when it comes to tidying. <laughs> My mum says Kane goes funny in the head. Um, is there another woman staying here? Because I just found these in the bathroom. They help me unwind. Oh, well, it's good to know someone's in touch with her feminine side. Talking to baths? Had one last week. Why don't you take a leaf out of your Uncle Nickel's book and turn it into a long, hot soak? And if you're lucky, maybe one of these kind gentlemen might read you a story. Baths are for girls. Upstairs now. <laughs> you don't mind keeping an eye on him, do you, while I go and pick the rest of my stuff up? Babysitting. He gets better and better. Don't you go changing the locks, right? Look, I know it's not ideal. Ideal? Try suicidal. I can handle Kane. No, you can't. And since when do you get to invite other people's families to stay over without even asking me? Oh, right, because you never do that. Maisie wasn't shacked up with a head case who tortures people. Look, I like her. Look, we've got something. I'll make sure they engrave that on your headstone, shall I? Well, well. Looks like somebody's right back where they started. So much for all them lies, eh? Which one exactly, Kane? You saying you'd be faithful? Like you saying you weren't warming Toffee Boy's bed. If this wasn't so tragic, it would almost be funny. Or are you sleeping with everyone in the village? The fact that I haven't. Never even came close. Now I'm a free agent, though. Who knows what might happen? And you know what they say? If anyone can satisfy a sweet tooth, the Candyman can. <laughs> Sleep tight, yeah? <laughs>